Peanut butter as we know it today was invented in 1890 by an American doctor. He used it as a protein substitute for people whose teeth were so bad they couldn't chew meat. Nice. The best peanuts for making peanut butter are runner peanuts because they uniform and roast more evenly than peanuts that vary in size. They arrive at a factory already shelled. To make a 500 gram jar of peanut butter, 5 grams. That's about 1,100 nuts. The nuts travel through a hot air roaster, heated to 204 degrees Celsius. The shaking motion moves them around so they roast evenly. More than 3,600 kilograms of peanuts go through this roaster every hour. When they come out, they've turned from white to light brown. Next, they're fast cooled at room temperature, using suction fans that circulate air quickly. This rapid cooling process is critical. It halts the cooking and prevents the peanuts from losing too much oil. Next, the peanuts go through a machine called the blancher. It removes the outer skins by rubbing them between rubber belts. Then it splits the kernels and removes the heart of the peanut, which has a slightly bitter taste. But what's discarded doesn't go to waste. The skins go to farmers for pig feed, and the hearts go into bird feed. The peanuts land in a big stainless steel container. From there, they drop down into the grinder to be ground into a paste. At this point, the other ingredients go in. Salt, sugar, and a small amount of hydrogenated vegetable oil, which acts as a stabilizer and floating to the top of the jar. Peanut butter contains no artificial It has no preservatives either, yet doesn't need to be refrigerated. The peanut butter is finally ready. The mixing has heated the paste to 60 degrees Celsius, so goes through a cooling system to bring it down to 38 degrees. Now, it can go into jars. Peanut butter is a healthy, protein-rich food with plenty of vitamins, minerals and fibre. It has no cholesterol, but it does contain fat. The good news is that more than 80% of that fat is unsaturated. In other words, good fat that may actually help lower certain cholesterol levels in the blood. The bad news is that the rest of the fat content is trans fat or bad fat. It comes not from the peanuts themselves, but from the oil that's used as the stabilizer. If you want to avoid that, you can eat all natural peanut butter, which doesn't contain a stabilizer. You'll just have to stir the peanut oil that collects at the top of the jar. Once the jars are filled with peanut butter, they go through the capping machine. The caps have an aluminium seal inside. As the caps pass through a heat machine, the seal drops down and adheres to the top of the jar, creating an airtight seal. A machine prints the production date and expiration date. Those unopened jars of peanut butter will stay fresh for one whole year. Though with kids around, it usually lasts for just a week. Peanut butter as we know it today was invented in 1890 by an American doctor. He used it as a protein substitute for people whose teeth were so bad they couldn't chew meat. Nice.
The best peanuts for making peanut butter are runner peanuts because they're uniform and roast more evenly than peanuts that vary in size. They arrive at a factory.